Hey guys, I'm Pineapple Brain. Today we are going to make multiple weapon fire at the same time. So we can make a weapon here, right? So every time when we select a weapon, we fire it. And when we switch to another weapon, we will hide the old weapon. So we don't want to make it hide. Instead, we want every weapon appears and fire together so let's start so here first we go to the entity script and uh, the new interface so uh, we go to add item here and let's add a ranged weapon so i am going to add multiple turret so this is the turret center and then we just remove the quantity so um, here we can change the cooldown and the bullet start position matters so here it starts at a Y shift of 45 so we remember this one and the X and then here we go to the body, body type here so the unit anchor and the item anchor so we don't need item anchor here and we will change the unselected state body of it we change it to select and then this turret we just save it and we can add a projectile and maybe we have a constant speed a yellow bullet circle so here it is added Yeah, right here. So we can update it. So the projectile type is the new projectile we've just made. And we have turret C right now. And we just, we are able to uh, give it to this unit. But when we want multiple turrets, we can have, we can duplicate it and then so with this is current left and we need to change the body type of it so the unit anchor part the Y you we can leave it 30 but the unit anchor part we can change it to 20 or other value so this should be uh, negative 20 so because it is on the left side and here we can change it to negative 20 as well so the bullet start have a tw negative 20 shift to the x axis and here we we don't need to change other things so we just save it now and then we can give it to the uh, unit as well so uh, for the multiple weapon firing we can i will just do three and you can add more when you like so i just duplicate one more time and the turret right hand side and it will also we need, we need to change the body type so the right hand side should be positive so the unit anchor here we have the x axis shifted 20 and here the bullet start, start position we also need to change it to a positive so here we have three turret and we give it to this unit as well but so far we will not able to use the left and right turret how can we use it we will need to go to this homie and we have two important abilities the first one is start using item but so far we just use the item that held by this entity continuously. We need to use all of these items so we can use for all items owned by this entity. So this entity stands for the homey unit. So for all items. So uh, maybe you would like to pre uh, uh, command it, disable it. So I just use this and then we copy it and paste it here and enable it again so uh, we will not use the item held by this entity because we look through 
four items that are owned by this entity and we want to use them also we use selected item so so far we finished the start using using item we can copy this for loop and go to the start using item and paste it and copy the stop using item held by this entity and paste it here and disable the upper one delete the use item continuously that we've just previously made here and in the stop using item we will stop using selected item as we are in the for loop so we finished the making these and now actually we are ready so we can publish it so so now we have three turret firing at the same time so i've entered another user player here for us to test each of the weapon they fired bullets that deal damage so let's test it so for the left hand side turret so it deal damage and the right hand side turret it also do damage and all of those bullets fired by all these items will do damage so we don't need to worry about that only the middle one that we are holding do damages so that's all of today's video. If you like it, don't forget to share and subscribe my YouTube channel. See you!